the journey to Delhi would give us our first taste of life on provincial Indian highways, an experience which we'd been told would be terrifying. Let me give you some alarming statistics. Throughout India, there are now 74 million vehicles, roughly twice what we have in the UK. So you'd expect the death rate to be twice as high. It isn't. In Britain, round about 3,000 people a year are killed on the roads. Last year in India, it was 196,000. That's 22 an hour. This country has the most dangerous roads in the world. And they get worse at night. This was a problem for us because as night fell, our overnight halt was still 80 miles away. And we were on the most dangerous kind of road, a dual carriageway. Jesus Christ, that guy's going on the wrong side of the road. Unlit tractor up ahead, chaps. It's completely unlit. An unlit wide load in the dark on an unlit road. Oh, 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 that was scary. Gee, hell. You know, in England, when a child is badly behaved, the mother always says, your father will be very cross with you when he gets home. Here it's different. It's always, your father will be very cross with you if he gets home. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus, look at that. I mean, Ganesh, look at that. Blinded. Yep, can't see a thing. That lorry's very close. <laughs> Road narrows for no obvious reason. Oh, straight. Whoa. Two nerve-jangling hours later, we arrived at the town where we'd be staying the night, and as we refuelled, I took my revenge. <laughs> funny. Very funny. Uh, what James has done is turned my heater up to full, and then removed the heater knob so I can't turn it back down again. What a monumental bell end he is. The next morning, the dual carriageway madness continued. Only now we could actually see what was going to kill us. Ah, oh God, now look. He had just got out of his lorry in the middle of the road. Oh! Oh! I wonder how much else we missed last night. What else was going on that we never saw? 